today to discover the world of bubbles. Where we are is the Children's Discovery Museum. A fairy-like creature, maybe half of Mike's size, with a big spear on her head and delicate wings, was blowing heart-shaped bubbles with her wand. And guess what? We now have a cube in the middle. Do you see that? Children's Discovery Museum. We've been open to the public since 1990. We're about to celebrate our 20th anniversary. We have 35 experiments that are in this book. Well, it's caused by that soap film, and what's happening is the light is refracting with the molecules of, of the bubble. Should I catch it? Whoa! We have another one to go. You can catch the bubble, you can actually keep going. If we take a close look at this, we have hexagonal shapes going on. Let's go through what we get in our experiment box. Let's go through the contents first of all. Intruders! Intruders! I will get my boss in no time and then you are all going to be party food. Then he disappeared. Crystallic solution that's included in your kit. We have a funnel and we have a big bubble blower. Bingo, said Mike. Guys, keep looking. I'm sure we're close to finding Mrs. Bubble. It wasn't until about 200 years ago when scientists actually discovered when they mixed soap with water, they could actually study bubbles. Suddenly, Mike shrieked. Ah! Something from above was touching his head. Right? Those are all spheres. They're always going to come out round. Like we talked about, that's those soap bubbles gravitating towards each other, maximizing the air volume and minimizing that surface area. As you can see right away, we've got a little problem over here. Well, not a problem. We just see that the, that the paper clip has sunk. Why is that? This is weird, said the mouse. Now why would somebody dress up like Elvis and kidnap a bubble fairy? And uh, if you want to know anything more about the museum, we are at www.cdm.org.